Hi everybody, it's the Elfie with One New York City on Facebook and tonight I'm bringing you a juice recipe. It's the first one on video and I think I posted something similar, my dandelion juice uh, as a picture already but I wanted to also address to maybe a few people out there who are new to juicing and give them a couple tips and pointers by demonstrating. I have a Breville juicer. This is an old model I've had for 15 years or something and just replaced the blades last year and it works just fine. So it's a very good brand. Um, then you can go for the grinder juicer, but that's for the pros and it's very expensive. Uh, I would say to get started, you can get just a Breville juicer like that. You find them at Bed Bath uh, on Amazon.com. So um, this is very practical because it's easy to clean. You do not need to cut all the veggies in small pieces. You see like you can really put there's a big opening here. You can put an entire apple in here. Um, it's easy to put together and um, yeah it's you know relatively small size so it's a it's a good little unit. Now uh, another particularity of it that's to be um, noticed is that there is a little part in the receptacle container here that allow for filtering the foam which is really convenient because you will see when you juice greens it gets it makes a lot of foam so you may not want to drink it some people like it you may like it at certain time you don't want it at other time if you want a clear more clear juice then you can just pour it using that little part that little piece and that's it. We can get started. I'm going to show you the ingredients. I have, of course, the dandelion because it's a detoxifying juice. So the dandelion is one of the best herbs you can find to detoxify the liver and the kidneys. Uh, you see it's a little jagged leaf like this. You can also make salad with it. It's bitter. Anything bitter is always good for the liver. And it tastes bitter. I will put parsley parsley, curly parsley, which has a stronger taste than flat parsley. And curly parsley is a blood purifier and it's also a very good cleanser for the kidneys. Okay, So that's all my green bulk here. And then I have a little lemon which I've peeled off because you can leave the peel. If the lemon is organic it's no problem but it will give a real lemony taste to your juice, uh, just keep that in mind, okay? Because all the essential oils are in the peel and it'd be very strong. I don't want it too strong, so I peel it off. A little bit of ginger, a couple of beets like this. You can buy the beets with the leaves as well and add the leaves to the juice. That's excellent, but I found those at the market. I got those and they were small, they're easy to, to make juice with. And then some red delicious apples. I have a few in here um, because I like the juice to be balanced in sweetness and bitterness. But some people like to go more toward the bitterness, so really get a little kick effect on the liver, right? So here we are. I'm gonna start. Let's see. I'm gonna start with the lemon because once you press your lemon, the juice will act a bit like. Um, like a natural citric acid and all the other juice will be more conserved through the making okay so I will start with this I will put maybe an apple there and a little beet and then we'll add some leaves and we alternate between the the hard veggies or fruits and the leafy veggies okay there you go bear with me it makes a little noise and I don't have post-production facility to edit that part, <laughs> okay? So, here you go. So now I'm gonna add some dandelion. You see I make it a little bunch like this.
finish with the dark one. And believe it or not, what I showed you in the tray fits exactly the container here. And I think it's about 30 ounces, you know, like two big glass or something. And it's perfect, it's unbelievable, it's the right, <laughs> it's the right amount. I love when I do this. So now, it should, or first, you want to either pour it in another container, like have an, another jar or something where you pour everything in. And then you pour it back to make sure that all the different ingredients are mixed nicely because that they're juiced together doesn't mean that they are going to be nice mixed, you know. And then you just pour it. I like it not too funny, so I'm gonna use the little piece here. And here you go. Look at that beautiful red. It's like it's like vin rouge, isn't it? It's totally like vin rouge. It's my vin rouge. I do not drink, you know. And being French, people are always like, you do not drink, and you're French. No, I do not drink. And I joke all the time. That's why they exiled me. <laughs> but this is my vin rouge. This is gorgeous. So you taste it. Mmm. Very nice. It's not as bitter as usual. I feel more the beet for some reason. And you see, they were just very small. Then I put quite a bit of, uh, quite a, uh, a large amount of um, dandelion, but I like it a lot. It's um, very astringent. You feel it right away when you taste it. And that's a sign of, uh, of alkaline nourishment when it makes your, your saliva glands work and you go like this, you know, this is a very good potion right there. Not too bitter and actually you feel the bitterness but the beat is very good. So, à votre santé, thank you for watching and I will see you on the page, bye.